Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this cascode amplifier, and for the given amplifier, we have been asked to find the voltage gain. Now, if you have followed the recent video on the main channel, then we have already discussed the same circuit. So this circuit is a cascode amplifier with a cascode current source as a load. So here, this TMOS circuit is a cascode current source, while this NMOS circuit is the cascode amplifier so for this given circuit the current flowing through the circuit is equal to 0.2 milliampere that means id is equal to 0.2 milliampere and since the all transistors are connected in the series connection so the same current will also flow through all transistors that means for all transistors the strain current id will be equal to 0.2 milliampere apart from that here we have been given that the overdrive voltage that is VOV is equal to 0.2 volt. Now for this NMOS transistors, this overdrive voltage is equal to VGS minus VT. While for this PMOS transistor, it is equal to VST minus VTP, where this VTP is the threshold voltage of this PMOS transistors. But in general, we can say that this VOV or this overdrive voltage is equal to VGS minus VT. So for all the transistors, this overdrive voltage is equal to 0.2 volt. And as you know, this transconductance GM can be given as 2 times ID divided by VGS minus VT. Or we can say that it is equal to 2 times ID divided by this overdrive voltage. So in this case, for all these transistors, the transcurrentance will be equal and it will be equal to 2 times 0.2 milliampere divided by 0.2 volt that is equal to 2 milliampere per volt. That means this GM1, GM2, GM3 and the GM4 will be equal to 2 milliampere per volt. Similarly, let's say this RO1, RO2, RO3 and the RO4 are the output resistance of these transistors. So this output resistance can be given as 1 divided by lambda times ID or it can be given as this early voltage divided by drain current. So here the early voltage for all transistors is equal to 2 volt while the ID is equal to 0.2 milliampere. That means for all transistors this output resistance is equal to 10 kilo ohm. So in this way, we found the value of the transcurrentance as well as the output resistance of all transistors. So now let us find the voltage gain. So for this cascode amplifier along with this cascode current source, this voltage gain can be given as GM1 times this R on parallel ROP, where this RON is the output resistance of this cascode amplifier while this ROP is the output resistance of this cascode current source. So this RON can be given as RO1 times RO2 times GM2. That means the output resistance of this transistor M1 will get multiplied by the intrinsic gain of this transistor M2. Similarly, this ROP can be given as this RO4 times RO3 times GM3. So first of all, let us find the value of this RON and the ROP. So here, this RON will be equal to RO1 times RO2 times GM2. That is equal to 10 kilo ohm times 10 kilo ohm times 2 milliampere per volt that is equal to 200 kilo ohm. Similarly, this ROP will be equal to RO4 times GM3 times RO3 that is equal to 10 kilo ohm times 2 milliampere per volt times 10 kilo ohm. So once again, this ROP will also be equal to 200 kilo ohm. That means Voltage gain AV is equal to 
gm1 times this ron parallel rop that is equal to 2 milliampere per volt times this 200 kilo ohm in parallel with 200 kilo ohm that is equal to 2 milliampere per volt times 100 kilo ohm that means the voltage gain of this cascode amplifier is equal to 200 so from this we can say that for the given cascode amplifier this voltage gain is equal to 200